vote buying, ICPC arrest INEC official with bundle of cash in Imo. Yes, definitely. <laughs> The vote buying cannot be removed from our electoral system because that is the only way people win. Okay. I'm sure on another occasion too, EFCC arrested the, uh, uh, you know, people, party agents, uh, people with, uh, cash and recovered almost 11 million naira because there's no way there will be no vote buying. Most people actually went there to collect money before casting their vote. That is it. People are happy selling their vote because they don't understand the implication of doing so. And the politicians are also using the money to, uh, you know, to dangle it before people uh, because they know that it will be hardly resisted. Oh, wow. An official from the Independent National Electoral Commission has been apprehended by the, or was apprehended by the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, during the Imo governorship election for having a large sum of money. Hmm. Nigerian News learned that the INEC staff was caught at the polling unit 005 Township Primary School, Ikenegu 1, in the Oweri Municipal Local Government. So the money was allegedly offered to the official by an unnamed party for the purpose of vote buying, a common issue that undermines the credibility of elections in Nigeria. So to combat electoral fraud, including vote buying and selling, the ICPC and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission dispatched officers to monitor off-cycle elections in Imo, Kogi, and Bayesa State. So it was reported earlier that party agents in the ongoing off-cycle elections in Kogi State restored, resorted to offering financial incentives to voters in Lokoja to secure their voters for their respective candidates. So could that actually happen in, in Kogi State? Ha. Huh. So uh, the said agents were reportedly positioned at a distance of approximately 500 meters from the polling unit and handed out cash to voters in exchange for their support. So the amount of money given to each voter varied between 3,000 to 5,000 depending on their individual characteristics and bargaining skills. And Nigerian News learned that. Now, wow. So party in power using state resources for vote buying by a Labour Party candidate, Eradiri alleges. So the same way they are talking about vote buying in Kogi State and uh, and uh, uh, Imo State is the same thing that they are alleging in Bayesa State. So meanwhile, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party in Bayesa State, Odengs Eradiri, alleged earlier that vote buying was ongoing um, in the off-cycle election in the state. Okay, so according to him, the party in power used the state's resources to buy votes. So Nigerian News reports that Eradiri asserted shortly after exercising the civic responsibility at his polling unit at what 10 Yanagoa local government area of Bayesa State at about 9 10 uh, a.m. in the morning. So the Labour Party candidate said the money to be used for education is being squandered for vote uh, buying. Now, wow. So the state resources are everywhere shared. The money that should have been used for schools, education, and economy of the state is thrown around to buy votes. And sometimes I wonder how. People sit on a seat they did not win. Radri said in a video clip shared by the cable. Hmm. So that is the situation. So obviously, um, the apart from violence, the election was also marred by vote buying. The people sitting in power or the people that have the capacity were distributing money to buy the vote from people. And again, how could people also leave their houses just to collect money to be able to vote? Eh? And then they don't care what they're voting for. Provided they get there, there are three to five thousand that they're going to spend for the day. And what happens to them in the next four years? They don't bother about it. It's a very, very terrible situation, I must, I must say, that must be corrected in Nigerian history. It must be corrected. And uh, the comment section, somebody said, INEC is an obstacle to democracy in Nigeria. Until INEC is disconnected or discontinued from presidency, disconnected from presidency in the appointment of its chairman and other senior officials, 
of the organization and also that it should be totally overhauled, INEC will continue to downgrade their sense of democracy in Nigeria. So I say it may be APC member acting for INEC. That is it. Because most of the people they recruited as ad hoc staff for INEC are actually card carry members of some political parties and they were recruited to do their bidding. That is the truth. I don't think they will recruit anybody uh, that wants to remain neutral as INEC ad hoc staff. They will not. So, until just like what we've been saying, until INEC is disconnected from presidency and INEC chairman uh, no longer appointed by the president and then the entire INEC system overhauled, INEC will continue to be a bottleneck and a barrier to good uh, election in Nigeria. Uh, so, another person is commenting here. He said that uh, by the time each one of them involved in the mess starts reaping what has been sown, me and you will start praying for God's mercy on such Judas. That is the problem. You say pray for them. Eh? Meanwhile, when they were doing evil, they didn't remember anything. The problem is that our electorates are still very dull. If not, just collect the money and vote for the party of your choice. That is all. It is not easy. Some want to monitor who you voted. They want you. They want to see who you voted. You know. So it is a very bad uh, situation. Hmm? It's followed by violence. You cannot collect that money and still do what you like. They monitor you through until you come out. That is how bad it is. Nothing to pity poor Nigerians own. Same useless people selling their votes for less than 5k and they want to enjoy dividends of democracy, hopeless people. It's very, very so pathetic, I tell you. Very, very, very pathetic. It's an unbelievable situation I find myself. Primitive system of democracy in Nigeria from 1960 to date still remain unchanged. 63 years of independence still depends on foreign assistance and NGOs. Democracy to hypocrisy. Not be smart, you know. Eh? Uh, somebody is saying, forget that I beg, not about INEC. Those are the people who want to rule us doing election malpractices tomorrow. They will cancel Waek Neko Jam ETC, claiming the school center was a malpractice. I always say nobody in this country that is holy. In fact, the good people are left in the street suffering, going hungry every day. May God help the, uh, the masses. Hmm. The ones they caught before call, what did they do about them? Nothing. Nothing. So that is the state of uh, the election in Nigeria for the Imo, Kogi, and Baisa state, marred by vote buying allegedly occurring or had occurred across all the three states throughout the period. And it's a very, very pitiable situation. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.